What is good, everybody? This is Wipe Five Three coming at you with a vlog about my Twitch streaming. So, as you guys know, I've been streaming on Twitch for a while now, um, but it's become a lot more irregular because of my job. Uh, my job basically prevents me from getting regular streaming hours or, you know, having a consistent streaming schedule because I just, my hours are not consistent. Like tonight, I worked from. Uh, 11.30 until 8, and tomorrow I work from 6 till 8.30, 6 in the morning till 8.30, uh, with a couple hours in between, um, so yeah, I just, my hours are so fucking inconsistent that it's ridiculous, um, but that's not the biggest reason why I wanted to make this vlog, um, when I do stream on Twitch, like, if I do stream, like, after, uh, you know, after I get off work or whatever, still around 8.30, 9 o'clock usually, uh, Pacific Standard Time, of course, or I stream on a day off, um, there's only a couple people uh, that come out, mostly community members and then a couple friends on Twitter that come out. Uh, nobody who actually has ever followed me really comes out anymore. Um, and that sucks, because the main reason why I started doing Twitch is because I saw an opportunity to interact with you guys on a more personal level, kind of right then and there, without having to, you know, go back and read a comment and comment back or whatever, you know, I guess this is the next best thing, uh, from me and you talking into a Skype call or something like that, you know what I mean? So, that was one of the reasons why I started it, um, but because of my job and the inconsistency, uh, no one comes out anymore, uh, aside from those people I, I mentioned, um, and, and I feel like it's it's time for a fresh start. Um, so I will be making the move over to Hitbox. Um, if you guys don't know what Hitbox is, it's basically the leading competitor for Twitch as of right now. It's, it's brand new. It's been out for a couple months, probably around six months now. Um, and there's just, there, there's some qualities that Hitbox has that Twitch doesn't that uh, kind of just drives me to want to do it. Um, one of the biggest reasons is uh, they don't have Twitch, they don't have chat delay whatsoever. Um, if if so, it's like three or four seconds, uh, which is basically non-existent. Um, so if you type something in your chat like "What's up, white boy?" I'm gonna I'm gonna look over my second monitor. Oh, what up, uh, Akasha? Or what up, Matt? Or whatever. I'm gonna see you guys in the chat. And it's gonna be it makes the 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 interaction flawless. Like it's it's not like I'm having to wait 40 seconds like it is with Twitch usually. Um, you know, I'm like, what's good? And then I'm playing the game and I'm just kind of just fucking commentating or whatever. And then like, how are you I'm doing good? You know, like it's, it's, it feels like it's really like, kind of like, it's like a stutter kind of thing. Like there's that barrier, uh, in between, you know, the viewer and the audience, um, that shouldn't be there because that, you know, that's one of the biggest reasons why streaming is a big thing is because it's, uh, interacting with your audience is the fucking point. Um, I know there's some people who don't interact with their audiences, but those are douchebags, and we won't talk about them. Um, so yeah, that, I mean that's a that's a great thing, you know. It, it it basically you know opens it up to kind of do what I originally wanted to do in the first place, which was play video games and interact with you guys while I'm doing so, um, you know, right then and there without you know having to again go back and read a comment and, and reply to you and try to remember what the fuck I said in a certain episode because I don't remember uh, because I, I pre-record in bulk so you know I, I don't always remember what I say during that episode but I can remember what I said two seconds ago most of the time there are some times I'll forget but um, you know it just it makes it a lot more easier than how Twitch is providing for right now um, as well as the fact that the factor that uh, getting a uh, partnered on a hitbox I've heard is a million times easier because uh, with twitch you have to have a certain amount of viewer base you have to have a certain amount of uh, followers uh, you have to have like a consistent amount of viewers each stream like not necessarily has to be 500 but it has to be 500 plus or whatever you know what I mean so it, that, that's hard to do starting out and I'm not saying you know I need my partnership tomorrow but it's still very difficult to it's it's becoming YouTube where it's very difficult to get anywhere um, and it, it, and I'm not saying I'm quitting YouTube or anything like that you know I still love doing YouTube I still love creating content for you guys here on YouTube but I, I've kind of came you know to face reality where I, I know I'm not gonna go any really anywhere with my YouTube channel uh, I, I know I'm not gonna make it big because just there's so many, it's oversaturated. There's so many people 
trying to make it on YouTube, that it's it's really not a a, a, a valid avenue to, to you know pursue a passion or pursue like a career I guess you could say, um, in this you know format anymore. Um, again, I'm not saying I'm quitting YouTube, uh, but I am going to be making the move over to Hitbox. Um, they have the same kind of you know their partnership offers the same basically same stuff. I would get a sub box, and if you guys don't know what a sub box is, it's not the same as what YouTube has. Um, followers is the same thing as subscriptions here on YouTube. Subscribers on uh, Twitch and Hitbox is basically where you guys show support for me on a monthly basis. It's kind of like Patreon, in a sense, where you um, you basically you you pay five dollars, four ninety nine, and that part of that money goes to me. Of course, part of it goes to Hitbox because you know they're the ones offering the service. Um, and that helps me because that helps me grow and that helps me, um, you know, because the more subscribers you have, it, it's all kind of, you know, advertisement. The more subscribers you have, you know, you have a higher chance of getting onto the front page, which, you know, brings in more people, bring in more subscribers, which, you know, the more people who are subscribed to my channel, the more people who are donating, the more people who are, uh, like, subscribed, the, the better it becomes an avenue of a career, you know. It makes it a lot easier for me to quit this shit fucking job that I've got and devote my full time to doing this. Because as you guys know, I've said this so many times, I want to do this as a career. I w not even necessarily just a career. Just I, I want to do this and not have to worry about making ends meet, about having to you know work a fucking job I despise uh, as I am right now. I mean, I. I Okay, I don't necessarily despise my job. It's not the hardest job. It's just I despise a lot of the people I fucking work with. The residents that are there, because if you guys didn't know, I work at a nursing home. Uh, the residents there are amazing. Majority of them. Some of them are assholes. But, you know, kind of... Out of 75 people, some of them are going to be douchebags. It just kind of fucking comes with the territory. Um, but I can't stand my, you know, my coworkers. Um, so if I was able to, you know, grow on Hitbox and I was able to break in enough subscription, you know, people subscribing to my channel and donations and stuff like that, that would give me the opportunity to say, you know what, fuck you, take your job and shove it up your ass, I'm gonna do what I love to do and get paid to fucking do it, you know, that's, that's everyone's dream, uh, not necessarily, you know, doing streaming or, or, or content creating, but doing what they love to do and getting paid to do it, you know. Um, and I just feel like I can actually pursue that on Hitbox, whereas on Twitch, it's not necessarily a viable thing anymore, because again, how oversaturated it is, like it is on YouTube. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. So I would love to see you guys come out tomorrow night at probably around 9, 9.30, Pacific Standard Time, of course. I will be streaming, probably Binding of Isaac, because it's the easiest game to kind of just pick up and go. Um, Binding of Isaac Rebirth, of course, I probably won't be playing the original ever again, but yeah, I, I plan on doing that, so, again, if you guys can, come show support, um, I, you know, let, let, let's, let's go, I guess, I don't fucking know what to say, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, peace!